Hello everyone, thank you for being a part of our Cool Days Collabora online program. My name is Ezine and I work for Collabora Productivity. Today I'll be talking about how to bisect a bug to a single patch. It will be good to understand what regressions are. A regression is a type of software bug where a feature that has previously worked fine suddenly stops working. This is the point where bisect comes into play. Bisect is usually uh, is the process of finding a particular commit that has caused the regression by comparing the middlemost commit in a given range of commits. By bisect however, is short for binary bisect. It is a term used to describe a bisect procedure when there are binary of repository used in the process. It is generally good to find the good working state of a feature to be able to bisect the regression. It can be done by checking the older version of the product. At each step of the bisect procedure, one would need to repeat the procedure that triggers the bug. If regressions occur in code docker, we would need to test using the docker images. There are docker images released for each released versions. Although it is necessary to test with versions older than 4.0 because a lot of changes has been made in the on Collabora Online since the 4.0 version was released. If a bug occurs in Code Docker, we would need to test using one version. If the bug occurs in that version, then we would need to test using an even older version until we find the good working state of the feature. If we finally find out that the bug started in one version, for instance, within 6.4 updates, then we would need to take two pairs or range of commits within the 6.4 updates to bisect in. If, however, the bug started between different versions, let's say 6.4 version and 4.0 version, well, would, that would be a bit a uh, handful because there would be a wider range of commit hashes to buy set with. Okay. Well, we would need to understand the relationship between the core build and online build. The core, the Collabora Office core build is required for Collabora Online to run successfully. An online build from any given time is usually composed of Collabora Office core and Collabora Office Collabora Online commits that were the latest at that time. Collabora Office Core and Collabora Online builds, often possibly months apart, can be matched. So when looking for a commit causing regression, only one of the repositories matters at a time. So it can be by setting only online or only core at a time. If the regression occur in Collabora Office Core, would would use the binary of repositories for tracing the regression. There are binaries of repository for tracing and con tracing regressions in Collabora Office Core, and it has been used for tracing regressions for a long time. Similar binary repository also exists for Collabora branches. An example of regression in Collabora Office Core would be at a time when image 
was missing when when docs file is opened in Collabora Office Core. I'll show you the screenshot in a bit. So this is the screenshot of the regression missing image and when the regression has been fixed. Regressions in Collabora Online Repository. There are daily builds of APK for tracing the good states of the feature in mobile. However, there are no binary repository for bisecting in online. So, we'll, we'll do it a little bit with uh, our kit commit hashes. <laughs> okay, so example of a regression that had occurred in online repository would be uh, recently the show ruler feature in, in writer stopped working. Although we remember using the writer ruler about a month ago and it worked well. This is the commit of the this is the commit that worked well that had the show ruler feature working well. This is the screenshot showing when the regression occurs and when the regression has been fixed. No matter how much you click on the show ruler feature on the show ruler option, it won't show the ruler in writer. And that was the regression. Okay, so the steps in by setting using the online repo. We will be using the recently occurred show ruler regression in writer for our procedure. What do we do? As always, we would need our good working state and that would be our older commit. So the current commit where the bug exists would be referred to as the newer commit, while the commit where the good the commit of the good state would be referred to as the older commit. Okay, so we will use the git command git by set start newer commit space older commit this is the git command that would this git command would check out to a particular commit and we will need to compile our build in that commit however to avoid errors during compilation we would need to use the flag disable w error in our configure parameter while building and also to avoid js linting errors we would need to add the js star.js in the low leaflet eslint file that is to avoid the js linting errors and then we we'll build our we we'll compile our build successfully then for every successful build we will need to trigger the steps we will need to repeat the step that triggered the bug. So if the bug exists, we will terminate the build and then enter the git by set bad. If the bug does not exist, we will terminate the build again and enter the command git by set good. This usually this process usually takes about three seven to eight builds then uh, the, the commit causing regression will be obtained and in our case this is the result we have this was the commit that caused the regression so that is it thank you for listening i will be around for questions comments and feedbacks Thank you once again for being a part of our program. Thank you.